Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to go over how to prepare an application for deployment to a standalone WebLogic server. And the directions that I will be following are is a um, posting that I did in the ADF forums under JDeveloper and ADF. So if you'd like to look it up, search for proper steps of deploy for deployment, and you can then follow along. I've made a number of changes to it so that it is hopefully as good as possible. And one of the first things that I always do when I make a posting is to put my version and then tell exactly what I've done and what my sources are. And you'll see that my sources are listed here so that you know that I've followed along somewhere to make sure. And, and one of the reasons that I did this was that, that this is a very long list and I wanted to make sure that I had not missed anything. Okay, so what we're going to do first is look at a module model product project and what we're going to do is configure the application module. Over here I have an application. I have a, uh, a login and logout and that's all configured. And I have two regions on my main form. Uh, one is a employees table, which everybody can see, and this is a table, uh, actually a region that only uh, managers can see. In my app module, you go over to configurations and app module local. You can press the pencil or double click it, and you'll get this. Now, JDBC Data Source is what you want to set it to, so I don't have to change this. Oftentimes, though, you'll find that it's the URL. And there is a performance hit sometimes when it's JDBC and you're doing the development. So when you do development, you want it on URL. But uh, normally, to, when you want to deploy, you change it to data source. So we change it to data source or keep it what it was. Press save. And let's go back. OK. So just this mentions about the um, performance issue when you are in development mode. Now we're going to go to the view controller and view controller. You can either do it on the menu project properties, or I often just double click. We're going to go down to the Java EE application. Now you'll notice that this is often what you see in the URL when you're testing or running it from the integrated server. We're just going to change everything to WLS tester. Uh, maybe we can change that. That's fine. Whatever it is, I don't really care at this point. So we've got that. Now we're going to select dependencies. And we want to make sure that the model is checked and the build output is checked. Um, so that's fine. Sometimes I find that it's not checked, surprisingly. Um, next, we're going to go to deployment. And we'll press edit here. Now you can change it here. And basically, we just want a, a nice simple name. And you'll see that that is changed because we changed it in the EE area. Okay, that's it for that. Okay, let's go back to our application pro properties menu. Okay, so the application properties, you can open it from here, go down to here, or you can open it from here and go here. Okay, so we're going to start with, and I had to redo this, so I think it's a little bit dirty still. Um, we're going to go to deployment first, and we're going to do edit. Now, if it's not there, you would press new. And we go to general, Okay, then yeah, the numbering's a little messed up. We're going to change the ear file to WLS tester, basically, and we'll change this also. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Okay. And you could do it also from here, but this one you also change the application name. Let's go back. Okay, so application assembly right here. And this one, you do not want to have that checked, but you do want to have this checked. 
Now, the way it works is, is that when this is compiled, all of these libraries are, are created. So you don't have to worry about that. Model is not checked. Now we're going to go to the WebLogic deployment mode. Um, so we've got that, and the deployment mode is right down here. And you press load extensions if it's not already there. So check application policies. Uncheck credentials. Now there is some question about how you're going to be doing it, because you could just um, leave all of this checked and then run it in the um, deploy it and the users and groups would go up and be written into the WLS server and the credentials which is basically the password and the application policies I believe refers to <clears throat> what grants you write to what objects so for example you might have a web page that um, certain users can see but other user, users cannot so basically you would um, uncheck credentials users and groups and auto so credentials users and auto okay and that is the assumption is is that there's going to be users in web logic there's going to be uh, groups in web logic and there's going to also be a jdbc data source made created in web logic okay next <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I have my name properly done. So I'm going to go back to, where was it here? WLS tester. Okay, the next one that we want to do is go to the JASN file. Best way to get to that is through the users and groups and source. And you can search for it, obviously. Uh, oh, look, that is exactly the same. So <clears throat> you want to make sure that under applications, application and name is this. Oops, WLS tester right there. Okay, so you would make sure that this is correct. Number this one here. Now another one that you can check, and um, Shay um, has a very good. Um, I think it's both a blog and a YouTube video. In the I believe it's web inf area web xml easiest thing to do is to go find it here here this is the url pattern if you run this you'll notice that this is in the pattern so you can change this he has some other hints about it too but um for our purposes you can either leave it as is or change it to something that maybe would kind of fit into the logic of what your application is about and that's the steps right there. Um, I have some had some questions about credentials. There was another video, um, and I'll show that to you in just a second. Okay, the other video that I'd seen um, did not have credentials checked, but he uses an Oracle, Oracle Internet directory, and I'm using uh, users that I've created myself, so it's a slightly different setup. But this is available on. ADF Insider videos. You can see right up here, it says ADF Insider. And um, these are uh, a series of videos that Oracle has put out. They're quite good, and I highly recommend them. And you can watch these two in addition. One source of information is not enough. You need to get as many as possible to build a good, good solid application. So please watch those videos also. OK, that should do it. Um, should mention also that um, Frank uh, Nymphus has a security for everyone uh, blog out also that you would like to look, you should look up. Okay, um, I hope that is uh, helpful and have a good evening.